Uh, hi, everyone. I'll be giving you updates on the AICOE CI pipeline, which uh, CI system, which we had uh, earlier talked about in previous demos. Uh, so the project itself is being used by uh, Dot Station and other uh, projects like ODH and AI Ops under AICOE. Uh, so we had a pipeline which used to build based upon uh, on based upon a tag release, uh, and we used to provide informations as what, where to push, where to build, and all those things. Apart from that, we have enabled the user to build the Im image itself with uh, in different source scripts for S2I. So in S2I, uh, let me take you for through first example. So in S2I itself, when you are building uh, with an image, uh, you can also provide like which source type of uh, source script you want to use. Because even uh, the base image itself tells uh, where to put all the information or where the S2I itself is inside, uh, like has to build it from. So uh, normally it's an OPT slash root slash S2I, but you can differentiate or you can change it to customize it to any other location based upon your base image. So for certain examples, we wanted to enable the AICV pipeline to be able to build uh, the image properly uh, and push it uh, to a uh, organization or repository in Quay. Uh, so one such uh, request was from uh, AIOps categorical encoding uh, repository, and they wanted to build the image based upon the S2I customized uh, custom notebook, which, is, uh, which uses a different methodology of building the S2I builds through a different source script. So you can define that by using, uh, you can define that in the uh, YAML file itself by saying build the source script and it will take this source script to build it rather than the default one. So this is the, this is one of the uh, keys which we have created now, like which enables user to build through a different source script in S2I. Apart from this, we also wanted to enable users to build through different Docker file parts. If a user is using, rather than using a S2I build, they are using a Docker file. Yeah, they should be able to build it from a different Docker file path or context path. So we enable that as well from the configuration file. You can set it up in the configuration file where you want to build, uh, like which Docker file where is exist, and it will pick it up from there and build the whole repository uh, according to the Docker file. So one such example is from the Open Data Hub operator, and they wanted to build it based upon the uh, build which they had it in a different context part called build, and they are building through it. Uh, we, all this pull requests have been merged, and now they are using it. Mm, sorry, my internet is slow, but uh, so if you can see, all this is merged, and they are building it to the new Docker file path. And all this is, all the images, once it's built, it's pushed to Open Data Hub repository. Uh, so similarly, it depends, uh, like you can describe where to push and all this. So uh, part, so these were the developments which we did in terms of uh, the build uh, pipeline. We also have updated the setup. So if anyone wants their own infrastructure or they want to set up their own instance of AICV pipeline and run it uh, and have more integration or anything, uh, you can go through the documentation. It helps you on uh, differentiating like what can you use for building the application itself and using uh, where to set up and what instances to be used and these small details like that. Uh, that's uh, what I had for demo today. And if you have any questions, you can uh, uh, have open issue in ACVCI or ask me directly. Thank you. Did I present? No. No, I asked. What was I? We, we are all I I was stuck. waiting. Oh. <laughs> okay. uh, thanks for that. Uh, questions, comments? Cool. Um, I think interesting part here is um, we are building images of of, of very different um, kinds, right? But we are building our own images for all the TOS uh, components, so it's basically 
uh, Python applications uh, that we are building. We are building the builder images for Jupyter Notebooks, uh, integrating all these basic uh, Python modules uh, required for Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, we are stacking images on top of that containing the experiments of the AI ops people. Um, we can build multi-stage um, Docker files, which is um, also cool. So it's pretty, pretty uh, nice um, set of uh, of tasks uh, that we can do with that, and uh, something that um, people all over AI COE use, which is quite cool. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, I'm going to hit yeah. the stop button again. Thank you.